Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. to land the big strike, then he moves position. And then he goes and he finds another strike. Before long, you see his opponent's face swelling. You see the eyes all split open and beat. It's truly, truly amazing to watch him and watch his approach to ground and pound. And great cardio allows him to stay heavy. We've seen a lot of fighters just struggle to buck him off. We'll see how it goes tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now, what does he do with the top of the board? Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, 
and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. You Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Yeah, working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Sound strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem with the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And they clinch once again. Big all punch man. Now he gets back to range. Ability of your opponent with those leg kicks. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack his arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a loss. That'll do it! And that'll do it! Absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say. But just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick. And the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight.
here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brock Lesnar! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.